Barbenheimer is a challenging title created by the fans of the two popular films Oppenheimer and Barbie. These two films have very different environments and subjects, and these days they have a very close rivalry in the cinema. And it will be one of the best-selling films of 2023. The Barbie film is a fantasy comedy by Greta Gerwig about the fashion doll Barbie. But Oppenheimer is an epic biographical thriller by Christopher Nolan about physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer, the scientific director of the Manhattan Project, which led to the creation of the first nuclear bomb. But what will the combination of these two films lead to? Imagine the fantasy and comedy of Barbie Land combined with Oppenheimer's gritty nuclear bomb world. But don't worry, the nuclear bomb will have a different behavior on the Barbie Land. So let's go and see the result. Yes, the bomb dances and jumps. I hope all nuclear bombs behave like this. It means to have a world without nuclear bombs. But in this video, we will see how this animation can be created using the TieFlow plugin in 3D Max software. Hi, welcome to Mimviz. If you don't know the TieFlow plugin, you should know that the TieFlow plugin in 3D Max software is the best tool for creating particle systems. So if you want to know more about it, watch the introduction video of this plugin on our channel. The link is above. I suggest you click on it and watch this video so that you can produce this attractive animation with TieFlow and the particle system. But let's go to 3D Max software and get started. This is the result we want to achieve using TieFlow. To start, I create a TieFlow icon in the scene and go to the editor window. First of all, we need a low poly model of the bomb object. So to create this low poly model, we do these steps. First, I create a birth object. Now I add my object to it. Then I hide the main object. And in the display section, I set the type to geometry. You can also change its color. To have a low poly and triangle object, I added the TETS operator to my event. The TETS operator allows you to convert particle shape meshes into TETS. Now, I set its parameters according to my object. In the following, I added a cloth bind operator to my event. Now I need to use the tie weld modifier. The tie weld modifier can be used to weld vertices and call overlapping faces of a mesh. Especially when you use the TETS operator, it is very useful for welding the inside of the mesh. You can control its power from the weld threshold section. Now I convert this new object to edit poly. And I go back to the editor window to add a new event. But this time, I use the birth surface operator. And I added my own object to it. From the particle birth section, you can set where it happens. Vertices, polygons, or other. Before I continue, I set the display state to geometry. Now I have added the shape operator to my event. I set the mesh type to sphere low res, and now I can control its size. Then I use the physics shape operator, and I set the hall type section to sphere. This allows you to choose the particle rigid body collision hull. The physics shape operator allows you to convert particles into physics rigid body. And now you can see that the shapes are moving toward the ground. 
but as you can see, the shapes are separated from each other and they lose their unity. So I need another operator. Here I use the physics bind operator. The physics bind operator can be used to create bindings between physics particles. Now I set its type to rigid joint so that the connection between these shapes is not lost. This is a soft transform based binding that will try to maintain the, some level of cohesion between physics particle rigid bodies based on spring damping settings. At this point to get a better result you can change the scale parameter from the shape section. Then I change the color of the display so that I can see more clearly. But to show the unity and connection between the shapes, I go to the physics bind section and I activate the show connection parameter. But let me hide the object so that the connection can be seen. You can come to the proximity bind section and change the max bind parameter to control this connection. The maximum number of bindings a particle may form between itself and other relevant rigid bodies. The higher the number, the stronger the connection between the parts. But in the future, with trial and error and changing the parameters of the bind setting section, you can make changes to movement, swing and twist until you reach your desired result in the simulation. But when you reach your desired state, it's time to replace this state with your bomb object. So the bomb behaves like this event. To do this, we use the tie particle skin modifier. The tie particle skin modifier can be used to deform a regular mesh with the particle system. Now from the particle skin section, we select our tie flow. Remember, after creating this modifier, make sure to use the Turbo Smooth modifier. The Turbo Smooth modifier, like Open Subdiv, smooths geometry in your scene. But if your body still has problems and is deformed, you can use the tie particle skin parameters to reach the desired quality. For example, you can increase the number of the max count section. Max count is the maximum number of particles that can influence a mesh vertex. You can also get closer to your desired result by changing the event parameters. Now we have reached our desired result and we have a beautiful animation of the different behavior of a bomb in the Barbie land. We did this using the particle system and the tie flow plugin. Remember in the CG world, you can do anything. So don't limit yourself and keep exploring and learning. We will have more tie flow plugin tutorials in the future. So be sure to subscribe to our channel, comment your thoughts about the tie flow plugin and Barbenheimer for us, and if you like this tutorial, like it. Thank you for watching this video. Until the next video, goodbye.